more about that because this first heat wave of the year is a long one. Yeah, clinics and emergency room staff warning the public to pace themselves when outside. They're already seeing the effects of all this heat. The night team's Patty Santos talks to a doctor to find out the warning signs that could just save your life. Cynthia Cisneros is headed for a short paddle ride at Woodlawn Lake as the temperatures near 100. Before I came out here, I made sure to drink plenty of water, dress for the sun, long layers, um, drink some electrolytes. I like to come out and stretch my legs. Even though it's hot, I still got to kind of maintain some type of health. Amber Avalos is one of a few people walking the park, but she's ready. Plenty of water, ice water. <laughs> Medical staff say not everyone is following heat safety rules. Since Monday, Baptist Health System says it has treated about 10 patients across the city with heat-related illnesses. At the University Hospital ER, that number is about seven. Feeling funny, feeling weak and tired, nausea, vomiting. Uh, any of those things should be a warning sign to get inside, get into a cool environment, cool yourself off and start drinking fluids. Dr. Ralph Riviello says getting into a cool area and drinking fluids, even taking a bit of honey or salt, might even speed up the process to feeling better. Because you want to replace that electrolyte. But here's when you need medical attention. Where they're acting confused or out of it, not acting themselves. Definitely if they start having any seizure activity, so jerking motions, or if they become unconscious or anything like that, that's when you need to call 911 and get them to the hospital. He warns people on medication that affects blood pressure, water pills, or diuretics are at a higher risk for dehydration. If it's too hot, don't do it, don't go outside. Uh, try to plan activities early morning or, you know, late, late afternoon, early evening. Steve Savanieva, when we were out doing this story, the temperature was just unbearable, and yet we still saw people out there running and exercising in that heat. Bottom line, doctor says, don't push yourself because a heat stroke could lead to problems with your liver, your kidney, even brain damage. We'll send it back to you. Thank you so much, Patty. We want to let you know there are tons of places to beat the heat here in San Antonio, though. This is a map you can find on the city's website full of libraries, gyms, splash pads, and of course, public swimming pools. Speaking of public pools, they open for the season on Saturday. And if you go to our website, KSAT.com, you'll find a complete list of hours and locations all summer long. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.